New game. Let's tease. Sneaking the bug into that exorcism was an uncharacteristic stroke of genius. Demonic possession is the gift that keeps on giving. What? Oh, Commissioner. No, that was, uh, Max's aunt. Yes, 14 packs a day. <laughs> What's that? Yes. Yes? No. Yes? Sweet suffering Saint Sebastian on the sousaphone in a short story by Susan Sontag. <sighs> We're on our way. Let me guess. Our friendly neighborhood demon just burnt down another monastery. No, Max, we have a far more bloodthirsty adversary this time. The President of the United States of America. Who? The man's gone nuts. He's enacting all kinds of crazy new laws. Oh, dear. What else is new? Federally <laughs> mandated group hugs before, during, and after all major sporting events. So? There's a pandemic out there. Civil liberties, threatening the environment. Hey, that makes three of us. And he's about to introduce mandatory gun registration. Get the keys. <laughs> okay, but... <laughs> Blue this time. How fun. I won't tell everybody I literally screamed on a stream and something happened and it spooked everyone. Oh no. <laughs> I'm excited. I hope I'm like I don't think we're gonna get through another whole one, but that would be really cool to not have to stop in the middle. That president of the United States of America. Very specific. I have to point out, Sam, that we could have avoided this gruesome accident if you just let me drive. And I have to point out that we could have avoided this gruesome accident if you hadn't jumped on my head shouting Jersey Devil, Jersey Devil, and firing your gun out the window. I swear that woman was a dead ringer for him. Well, here we are, standing in an open field west of the White House. Here we are. Let's go bring the hammer down on that so-called commander-in-chief. Hey, my missing boxing glove! It's always in the last place you look. Any golf balls? Nope. No, because the alligators ate them all. They don't feed the submarine. The White House pool. Most secure waiting pool on Earth. Give me two teeth. Jimmy? Oh, great! What are you guys doing here? Oh, just saving the world. What are you doing here? I happen to take my vacation at the White House, and I need a little R&R. &R. Speaking of which, beat it. Nothing over yonder. Just a big, empty space that we can walk through. <laughs> really? All right. Must be a small submarine, right? Valley parking, two bucks. Post, no bills. Hey, phone. We have no money. Respect yourself. <gasps> That's so Madonna. Hey, this phone only takes Susan B. Anthony dollars. It must be one of those stupid 555 phones. Yes, actually. 555-1984. Hey, Sam! Did I ever mention how I've memorized pi to 1,000 decimal places? It's 3.14159265358979. Hmm. Do you have a piece of paper handy? You want to write down the phone number? I remember the number. I want to write myself a reminder to smother you with a pillow in your sleep. <laughs> oh. Those guys. Hmm. Sacagawea coins, yeah. Christmas lights and a small barbecue. Everything somebody would need to renovate, decorate, and then accidentally burn the place to the ground. Later, Max, later. Your name here. For naming rights to this building, please contact the Office of Desperation Accounting. Oh boy, can we, Sam? Please? We'll see, little buddy. Excuse me, Step sir. Aside, buddy. 
Freelance police. Just a moment, sir. Papa Bear, this is Super Bowl. Possible situation at the front door. Talking dog and der, rabbit trying to gain access to the OO. Please advise over. Super Bowl? Yeah, that's a negative on the access permission, sir. I'll have to ask you and your little friend to step away from the White House. Doggy Daddy, this is Loose Cannon. Request permission to pants this goon. Over. Before we try physical violence, Max, let's try dazzling the man with our razor sharp wit and labyrinthine logical conundrums. Ah, emotional violence. Good plan. Oh. Don't you get bored guarding this door? It's a rewarding job, sir. Doing my part. Keeping the president safe. Hey, Super Bowl. I'd like you to smell these two handkerchiefs and tell me which one smells more like chloroform. Not now, Max. Did you call yourself Super Bowl? Codename, sir. I'm a bouncer. Secret Service humor. Mm. And who's Papa Bear? Section chief. Runs the operation. Protects the president. Oh, Super a Bear. Bowl. Uh -huh. I get it. Hmm. Is that all you do? Guard this door? That's my primary assignment, sir. I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 100. Try to guess it while I drop increasingly heavy weights near your head. What's your secondary assignment? Varies. Receptionist, maintenance, light grounds work, public relations. Public relations? I'm a people person, sir. Hmm. They have you guys doing odd jobs, too? Cutback, sir. Employee Reduction and Consolidation Act of 2003. These sunglasses aren't cheap. Hey, Super Bowl! What gauge syringe would be best for injecting you with a knockout serum? Just a hypothetical. You really have time to do everything else and guard this door? I make the time, sir. It's what I do. Huh. I want to talk to your manager. No can do, sir. He's with the president. Alright. I've had enough of this. Papa Bear, this is Super Bowl. Perp's exiting zone four now. Seem disgruntled. Stay on the lookout. Over. Now can we push him down and beat him with sewage-filled garbage bags until he runs crying into the reflecting pool? Tempting, Max. But these Secret Service guys hold a grudge. Hmm. So he also does Whee! grounds work. Hmm. White paint, Christmas lights, and a small barbecue. Everything somebody would need to renovate, decorate, and then accidentally burn the place to the ground. Later, Max. Later. Seems like we can't get in there just yet. Unless we can break there in. There are so many other things to punch. Aww. There are so many... There is a small mailbox here. Ah, uh, it's one of those ornamental mailboxes that doesn't actually open. That's government efficiency for you. So we have our listening bug still. Me neither. I was so bummed in the second episode. I think they took away the Wii for whatever reason. Valley parking, two dollars. Way to knock down that deficit. That was just so good. Okay, so we need Ooh, to figure out how to get in to the White House. Can we go back to our office? Where are we going, Sam? Huh. Back to the office. I'll drive. Not while I'm alive. Exactly. It's kind of. I feel like this is the first one that didn't start us at our office. What do we have now? She just keeps making room on the sign. <laughs> A dating service. All right, Sybil. Hey, Sybil. What's new in the world of frequent random career reassessment? Hi, fellas. I'm really excited. I found the perfect job for me. You don't say. That's right. I, Sybil Pandemic, am now a professional matchmaker. Mm. I thought I smelled phosphorus. I thought I smelled that joke coming down the turnpike, burning oil and dragging its muffler. It's a dating service, Max. I figured that if a smart, successful career woman like me could be having so much trouble finding a date, there must be plenty of other people who could use it. Hey, why not? Yeah, little things change in the office, but yeah, I love how it just kind of layers on. Um, I don't think that we want dates. You're having trouble finding your soulmate? You don't know the half of it. Seems like all the guys I meet are total losers. No offense. None taken. Hey! Or else they're borderline psychopaths. No offense. None taken. It's the borderline cases you have to watch out for. 
What kind of man are you looking for? Older Are men. we doing her job Guys for her? with a little history to them are such a turn off. Oh, and tall men. And distinguished. And he should be experienced. And wear a really right, tall top hat, already. maybe? Yes, and I will go have a beard, you, perhaps? I thought she was talking about me. Really, really old? <laughs> I feel like that's the setup here. Could you find dates for Max and me? Seriously? I mean, sure. Why not? Stranger things have happened, I guess. They must have somewhere. I'm choosing not to be offended by that. What do we need to do? It's easy. Just submit an application. Uh, all right. Well, I don't know why what we're doing this. What kind of stuff this. is on this application? The usual. Your best traits and what kind of person you're looking for. Hooks for hands! Hooks for hands! When you're done, I'll put the application into my computer, which analyzes wink, wink. your personality <laughs> matrix at 15 essential compatibility points. Mm -hmm. I don't have a personality matrix so much as a personality vector. Once we've found a match, you call your date and agree on a time and place. Let me help you guys out. Tell me your good points and what you're looking for in a date. Uh, oh god, we're not gonna know. I feel like we're gonna pick the wrong things this time around. Um, an air of mystery. She should have an air of mystery. Making frequent passing mention to her time on the chain gang, but when pressed, revealing nothing. You don't even like girls, Max. Um, she should love animals because she should love animals. Such as the elusive praying mantis, whose deadly but enthralling mating rituals she mimics. So she you really know how to ruin the mood, Max. Kills it, cuts your head oh, off. And, and cybernetic implants, like an elbow that can connect to the internet. <laughs> uh, I'm very spiritual. She should love the outdoors. She should be tall as a. Uh, I'm very spiritual. I'm very spiritual. A disciple of the ancient ones, enacting dark magic rituals to bring forth their reign again upon this earth. Rise, Shigarath. Rise, Abyag Solem. I don't lead an active lifestyle. I outdoors are okay. Tall, sure. She should be tall. At least twelve feet, or four meters, if she's Canadian. That's all I can think of. That's all I can think of. Oh, that's plenty. That would now be awesome. Now I'll just put your applications into the computer. <laughs> and there it is. Max, it says your perfect match is... Cybernetic laser eyes. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. Sam. Well, that's interesting. It says your perfect match is Sam. Yes. Disturbing. <laughs> and yet somehow not completely unexpected. And Sam, your ideal soulmate is... Wait for it. Max. Nah. Yeah. Well, there goes another blow to the concept of a fair and just universe. <laughs> hey, Sam, what do you say we never, ever speak of this again? Way ahead of you, little buddy. Uh, what's next on the career what's horizon? What's next on the career horizon? Next? This is it. What could be a better job than helping people find their perfect match? Volcano God. Good point. I'll stick to the dating business, though. See you around, Sybil. See you around, Sybil. Um, I think that's a lot of people's fanfic. <laughs> I have, I have, even with some light Sam and Max Googling, you can, you can find some things. <laughs> um, all right, let's go see how Bosco's doing slash what accent Bosco has today. Uh oh. You bliss. Whoa, look, Max. It's our favorite cultish crackpot, you bliss. Hi, I'm you bliss. I want to buy something. Take my credit card. Put me on your mailing list. Anyone you want me to recruit? You're supposed to give the Stockholm syndrome a few days to kick in, Max. Who has that kind of time? You're going to guess Russian? I guess Spanish. Uh, what are you doing here? What's a big celebrity like you doing on our street, you bliss? Why, I'm spreading the great news about prismatology! 
the magic and science of unlocking the harmony of colors for a revolution in holistic personal and interpersonal well-being? Now translated into 15,000 different languages, including Esperanto. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! Are the books selling well? Selling? You can't put a price on imagination. You can't sell the wonder of a daydream or the laughter of a child. He's right. I've tried. So he's not he's not selling them. Show us a magic trick, you bliss. Magic is easy when the colors of your soul are Yeah, yeah. Less chatter, <laughs> more magic. Okay. How about <laughs> okay. I Well, your mind reading is obviously still working. It is. <laughs> Now watch me as I vanish. Except you won't be able to watch me because I'll be gone. There he goes. All right. Oh, he came back. Yeah, man. Hey, a free home delivery sign. The sign's not free, <laughs> but oh, my book is. Well, do we want a copy of this book? Thank you, Bliss. Hi. Hey, <laughs> Bliss. Um, okay, so we're gonna need him to disappear for something. Can you just- I wanna pick- It's me! Okay, yeah, I was just being polite. I don't care how you do it. Okay! We're gonna have to have something, or take that sign. Something. <gasps> oh, the gumball machine's purple today. I wonder what it could be. Something radioactive. Ah, greetings, comrades. Good dog and call. <laughs> I'm having trouble placing the accent this month. Mid Atlantic states? The San Fernando Valley? Hmm. I get more of a vague Baltic vibe. Something in a light check pattern. Ha ha! Comrade Maximilian makes the funny joke. I am Vladimir Ilyevich Baskoborsky, Russian proprietor of Workers' Glorious Warehouse of Inconvenience. No? No. But no. now I make new start in America, which I love. So it's no need to aim in sophisticated targeting equipment at me. What's with the Soviet bloc, Bosco? He's perfectly natural, comrade. I work with your American government in spirit of glasnost. They know, they know. Who knows what? The feds, man. Uncle Sam. The government's watching us all the time. So that's why I always feel an overbearing presence just out of my field of vision, watching and judging my every move. That's me, Max. <sighs> oh, we want to buy something. We want to buy something. Da is evil but necessary private enterprise. What do you got? What do you got? His most glorious invention, comrade, is useful for, how you say, questioning. Questioning. His ah. true serum makes easy, even the most difficult, how you say, interrogation. Interrogation. True serum? Is this another one of your half-baked overpriced gimmicks, or does it actually work? Both will make anyone get rid of inhibitions and telling, uh, how you say, uh, complete and honest truth. Complete? Your accent sucks. <laughs> hey, it's already working. <gasps> oh, how much for the truth We'd serum? We'd like that truth serum, comrade Boscovich. Is good. Price is 867.5309 rubles. How much is that in real money? One hundred million dollars. I think your rate of exchange is a little off, Boskovorsky. Fall of Berlin <laughs> Wall <laughs> brings great strength to our economy. Alright. Nothing for us right now. Something in here smells like fermented hate. It's like sweaty jock straps soaked in boiled cabbage with a dash of sulfur. Keep it down, guys. You're scaring off the other customers. What other customers? Max and I are always the only ones in here. It's a good thing. Merchandise is always available. Coming in here is like visiting old friends. Some of these cereal boxes are from the McKinley administration. I carved our initials in one of the weenies, so we'll be best friends forever, Sam. Aww. When's the last time you cleaned out the weenie rotisserie? Needs no cleaning. Adds vintage flavor to Tasty Franks. Tasty Franks. When's the last time he needs no? See you later, Bosco. He's no Bosco, comrade. He's only loyal worker, Boskovorsky, who is no threat to glorious American government whatsoever. 
Yeah. Are these weenies beef or pork? Or woolly mammoth meat? Questionable. Alright, everything else seems to be the same. We might have to do something with the hot dogs at some point, I feel like. I feel bad that we just like left like that felt unresolved in the last episode. Not getting to do anything with the bear. We gotta punch something. Punch something, and we still have our listening device. There are so many other. I don't spy on Bosco. We've got an understanding. You understand that, sir? Yes, sir. All right. What do we got today? Novelty gumballs. Shaped just like the real thing, but made of inedible plastic. Fool your friends, annoy your grandparents. President appoints action figure as Secretary of Defense. That is pretty crazy. Well, at least it was an action figure of John Shaft. Oh, I can dig it. That's true. Hey, a free home delivery sign. The sign's not free, but... All right, so I think we're gonna want that sign eventually, but there are some. I don't think we can get it just yet. Is there anything in our office that's gonna help us out? We'll check, and then we'll head back to the White House. Because we kind of just had to skedaddle out of here. Hello, constituents. This is your president. When I took office three years ago, I made a solemn promise to help you, the American people. Now, thanks to your collective short-term memory, I can say that I've delivered on that promise. I'm trying to remember what Sybil said she was interested in. Anybody Older. Home? Guess not. When I got this thing, I thought it would be useful. You always say that. All I can remember is older. All right, what trophy do we have? Ah, Leonard. <laughs> it's our favorite shifty card sheet, Leonard State Charmer. How you doing, Leonard? Come in. Good, good. Bye, Leonard. No, not math. Flint paper? Wait, what? I wonder what our old pal Flint Paper is doing. Probably sleeping off a night of two-fisted, hard-boiled action, giving two-bit thugs the what for, all on account of some dame. Yeah, he's the coolest. This place could use a bit of remodeling. I was saving it for a surprise, but I booked us on that mega extreme office makeover show. We just have to sign the release forms and decide where to put the whirring saw blades. Oh, cool. We've got to stop the president, Max. Let's use the two most important tools of democracy, guns and ammo. I guess we should get back to work. Not yet. I'm still on my break. <laughs> okay, now. My fellow Americans, we must remember to live life to the fullest and keep joy in our hearts. To that end, I have introduced mandatory psychological examinations Guarantee that all citizens meet the minimum required level of joy and good business. He's like a kinder, gentler Mussolini. <laughs> uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that's... that's... No. Hard pass. All right, I'm gonna ask Sybil one more time what she was interested in, just in case that's something we need to tuck into our brain. We'll probably have to ask her again tomorrow if we don't finish this one, but... Everyone, look happy. Happy. Everything is good. I am hey, Sybil. balanced. Hey, how goes the dating game? Computer-generated love 
What are you looking for in a date again? I would love to meet a tall, tall older, man older with good, good career. career, the president, or Hugh Bliss. How many couples have you managed to escort to romantic bliss? So far, none. None is the loneliest number. But I've got a feeling things will start to pick up after the holidays. All that stress makes for a lot of messy breakups and a lot of people looking for romance on the rebound. So we have something to look forward to. Uh, all right, so you're on, Sybil. So you're on, Sybil. Or the guard, maybe the guard. I think we either have to get something to feed the submarine or punch the agent. Assaulting armed secret service agents is one of the leading causes of getting yourself killed. Or use our phone? Where are we going, Sam? At the office? Back to the office. Because we remembered the number and we don't have any Susan B. Anthony coins. Maybe. Let's go up. But I do want a pizza. Mista Pizza. Two medium pineapple and asbestos pies, please. Oh, yeah? Well, same to you, jerk. What'd he say? Thank you, and have a nice day. Who are you calling, Sam? <laughs> you have a pizza on. No, Mr. not oh. the same one. Wow. I haven't heard language like that since we accidentally shot that sailor. Any messages? The drawers are just painted on to make the desk seem useful. Colin, Sam. Right, it seems more like a like a nacho topping. The White House. White House. Agent Super Bowl speaking. Super Bowl. Uh, what? Please hold. We could just have him hold for a really long time. Have you checked the baby? Yes, sir. Sleeping soundly. Oh, good job, then. No, 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 no. Call again. Who are you calling, Sam? The White House. White House, Agent Super Bowl speaking. Hello, please hold. Roger that. Our phone bill is sure gonna be expensive this month. It's okay, Max. I've been paying them out of your retirement fund. Uh, oh, is anyone there? Okay, let's go. Book it. <laughs> that was so dumb. Where are we going, Sam? The White House. We're off to the White House. Oh boy! I think it'll work because Hello. it's bonkers. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> now, a lot of these same folks will say that we're wrong for introducing this federal pudding embargo. It feels like a they envy our old television I show gag. Like. What have they got to hide? Unless they're secretly sitting on stock piles of pudding, and oh yes, we will find them. They've got nothing to be afraid of. So in conclusion, America, get your back up off the wall. Dance, come on, marzipan and good night. It's worse than we thought, Max. He's crazier than a caffeine addled dingo in an Adelaide maternity ward. I think he makes a lot of good points. Those puddings are trying to steal our jobs. <gasps> and I especially like how he does that spinny thing with his eyes. Oh, spinny thing. By the whiskey-soaked beard of Ulysses S. Grant. That's it. The president's not crazy. He's been hypnotized. We've got to snap him out of it, Max, and pronto. How do we do that again? We hit him over the head, like we do with all hypnotized people. Oh, yeah. <gasps> no, no. 
That was cuddly or snuggly or sneezy. House of Representatives and Gardens. This goes deep. Hmm, throw pillows shaped like stars. Interesting, since actual stars are shaped more like throw pillows. There's a lot in here. I'm George Washington. Anyone need their nuts cracked? <laughs> Please don't make fun of George Washington. That's so easy. It's right there. Are these pictures of you with cardboard cutouts of other presidents? We're all cardboard under the skin, son. Funny how almost anything makes sense if a president says it. We're all cardboard under the skin. I don't know if he's doing Andy Griffith or like a mix between that and uh, like Jimmy Stewart. Looks like there are rats in the Oval Office. Sam, you've finally done it. A straight line so easy, even I won't touch it. This urn says Fluffy on it. Oh, Fluffy. Wasn't that Warren G. Harding's nickname? These plates commemorate the core values of freedom-loving peoples everywhere. Hot dogs. Eating a lot and hitting things with sticks? Exactly. Sounds like a good day. Roosevelt's boxing gloves, encased in lucite. TR or FDR? ER, I think. Ah. This is either an early draft of the Declaration of Independence or a It says Teddy Roosevelt's on there, though. I'm not sure who this is, but he must be important. U.S. Senate Talent Show, second place. My finest hour. Apparently, even U.S. presidents have mothers. There is a lot, a lot going on in this office. That nice glow. Amazing how often I needed in this job. There's another glow. This snow globe has a little Apollo 13 inside. What happens when you shake it? I'm afraid to find out. Take a look at that. <laughs> Take a look at that. I love this country. It's a bunch of merit badges from the Weasel Scouts. I got one of those once, but they took it away when they found out what I used for bait. Uh, pithy campaign slogans. It's a yeah, that's the channel we were on. Slogans. Oh, don't fool with those. Wouldn't want to be caught on national TV with my drawers down again. No, yeah, it's a Griffithy. Oh, definitely. Chuckles. Hey, Mac, do you work here? What tipped you off? We're freelance police, buddy. This is a national emergency. And we don't appreciate your sassy mouth. Auditions for new White House pet down the hall. <gasps> this can only end in violence. Hmm, this guy's voice sounds familiar. Do you recognize him, Max? Half the time, I don't even recognize you, Sam. I'm over here, little buddy. Who said that? Today is April 17th. What do you do around here? I give out free t-shirts to the visitor who asked the dumbest question of the day. Please accept my apologies, but we're all out of husky boys sizes. Woo! Double burn! I thought you were on my side, Max. Double. I just call him like I see him, Sam. Uh, what a jerk. What's behind that door? War? It's a private club for people who aren't annoying me. You two ain't invited. Should we pummel him together, Sam, or would you rather take turns? We can create a national security incident after we've saved the president, Max. You're the president's personal bodyguard? You catch on quick. We need to have a private meeting with the president. National security. Go right ahead. I meant private, as in wait outside and we'll call you when we need you. And national security, as in we need to clobber the president on the head to break his hypnotic trance. Your gift for subterfuge is uncanny, Max. And that's uncanny as in, you two try anything and I'll plug you. Well. You're always with the president? Even when he's got a, you know. Always. I never leave his side. Your codependency sickens me. And it sickens me in exactly the same way, doesn't it, Max? I mean, Sam. 
We'll be back. I cannot wait. Hands off, boy! That's my presidential calendar! It's cute. Oh, we're gonna have to move what today is, I bet. <laughs> the national budget. Stand back, son! That there's the national budget. The <laughs> Good day, Mr. President. We come in peace, as far as you know. Ooh, finally! The interpreters! Where have you been? Yeah, it kind of reminds me of one of those creepy dolls. Uh, like Goosebumps doll. Which I guess is... Interpreters? Yeah! That is why you fellas are here, right? Sure, why not? Because I got a meeting with one of them foreign dignitaries. Always talking that crazy space language. Who are you meeting with today? Heck if I know. They show up and start jabbering away about treaties and whatnot. I just let the interpreters figure it out. I just keep an eye on them to make sure they don't steal something or try to eat the cat. <laughs> All right. We're ready to start interpreting. That's aces, fellas. But the dignitary hasn't shown up yet. Show yourselves around the office. But don't touch nothing. Don't touch nothing. Keep up the good work, Mr. President. So touch you everything. Gotta know when to hold them. Know when to hold them. <laughs> the man's a genius, Sam. I almost feel bad for doing this. Yeah, no it's for the good of the country, Max. Yeah. No uh, what else do we need to look nice at blow. then? A, a ribbon. Hey now, that's a super special top secret ribbon. Don't touch it. Top secret ribbon. Uh, potted plant. Is that a potted plant for the Vice President of the United States? It is hard to tell the difference. No one enters the war room. That's it. You two are coming with me. We went for it. <laughs> and stay out. Now I have to get Sitting back to the President. Hello. He's not supposed to be alone. Excuse me. Hello. <gasps> Wizard. Oh, Governor Wizard, President has been waiting for you. Is anyone Governor Wizard? Hey, who better to run a state than a washed up, urination loving former child star? No one! Hello, this is the White House. Hello. Hello. Is anyone there? Oh, dang. No, sir. I said soda abuse. It's a very important issue. Was I? No, comprende, son. But I'm speaking English. Ah, oh, are, are you two fellas the interpreters? It's about time. Darndest thing, we just had a couple imposters in here. Ah. Uh. for you two. Were they walking around examining everything and engaging everyone in pointless conversations? Those are the ones. Those accursed clones. When will their devilish mimicry end? Help me out with this here potentate, would you? Can't understand a dang word. But that doesn't make sense. I don't even have an accent. Oh, no. Momento, por favor. Impatient little guy, ain't he? Hey, right, what's up, wizard? What's new, wizard? That's Governor Wizard. Thank you very much. What are you the governor of? The 51st and greatest state, West Dakota. Don't you guys read the papers? Just the funnies. You mean the obituaries, Max. Potato, potato. We're a young state, but with our own rich traditions that make us a distinct tourist destination, apart from the North and South. Ah. How did you get into politics? I won the election. It was a very close race. But I totally won the popular vote. Was it a runoff election? You see what I did there? Runoff? Cause he's wizard? You're still the master of fourth grade gutter humor, Max. What were your qualifications for office? I'm a television celebrity. Now there's a platform I can get behind. What brings you to the Oval Office? I 
trying to build up nationwide support for the MRSAPP. Who's Mr. Sap? And why didn't you want me to know you were talking about him? I can spell, you know. It's the Mount Rushmore Soda Abuse Prevention Program. It's totally changed my life. I've been carbonation free for over four weeks now. Tell us about the MRSAPP. Be brief. I started the Mount Rushmore Soda Abuse Prevention Program after I became governor to help people get flat like me. But if we can't get federal funding, oh, people not carbonated. all over the Dakotas <laughs> are going to get right back on the pop. I don't work eight hours a day, six days a week just to throw my money away for some washed up soda junkies with no sense of self-control. You don't have any money, Max. Oh, right. Never mind. Good luck with that, Wiz. So you really kicked the soda habit, huh? And how well, that, that just sounds too I crazy. Was pop, I was in a real downward spiral. That endless cycle of always looking for my next fizz, then having to take time out for number one. Then I saw that documentary about Peanut Franklin, and it convinced me I didn't want to be just another self-destructive former child star. Peanut Franklin, the lovable star of Mixed Nuts who was found in a seedy Hollywood motel room dead of anaphylactic shock? What you mean you ain't got no jelly? Still too soon, Max. We're ready to interpret for you. What? Don't that's not... The president needs the interpreter. What did he say, Sam? I'm speaking English. I, I don't just even have an accent. The... Can't understand a word. We're ready to interpret for you. Don't tell me. The president needs... What did he say? I'm speaking... Can't... It... All right, see you later. See you around, wizard. Let's interpret the Hello, president, Mr. then. President. We're ready to interpret for you. All right, let's get this party started. <laughs> Mr. President, my fellow Americans, I come to warn you about a serious epidemic facing our country. The scourge of soda abuse. Many former pop heads like myself found ourselves in the endless cycle of addiction and elimination until we believed there was no hope. I don't know what you're saying, son, but you're selling it, boy. Good job. I ask you, how long can this epidemic continue? What was that? He said. How long can this epidemic continue? Prepare to die, capitalism oppressor. What's I gotta do to get a drink around here? Let's take a break. Uh... I mean, do we just, maybe we just repeat what he said? How long can this epidemic continue? Epidemic? What's this about an epidemic? The epidemic of soda abuse, sir. By 2010, four out of five children will be addicted to soda. And the impact on our nation's plumbing system will be disastrous. What was that? Uh, epidemic of surly listless teens, baseball fever. Something about soda abuse, blah, blah, whatever. Oh my god. These are terrible. Something about soda abuse, blah, blah, whatever. Hmm. Sounds like one of them touchy-feely tax and spend welfare programs. He said, hmm, sounds like one of those- I heard what he said. Are you guys sure you're translating correctly? Don't blame us, buddy. You're the one with a speech impediment. Try it again from the top, wizard. What? Ahem. Once again, Mr. President, the impact of soda abuse okay. on our nation's health cannot be overstated. I ask again. Great job, great job. He said. He said. I feel like it's got to be something that he'll agree with or something. A way to get them to agree with each other without actually knowing what they said. What's a guy got to do to get a drink around here? Aha, I know what you need. And ice cold <gasps> orange sugar fish. No, wait. No. No, that's not <laughs> what I want at all. I must resist. But I am thirsty. And just one couldn't hurt. Frosty cold and so delicious. This is so messed up. All the progress I've made. They were about to give me my five-week pin. I almost feel bad about this. I don't have a conscience, Sam. What's your excuse? No. Oh, blessed angels of carbonation, fill me with your syrupy nectar. Ew. Yeah, 
Now I'm not so much guilty as repulsed. Keep it coming! More! I need more! I need... I need a bathroom! Which way is the bathroom? Uh... Which way is the war room? It's that door right over there! But I don't... Oh, thank you! Where do you think you're going? I've got to get in there! Bad! We've got a priority red number two here in the Oval Office. No, it's just number one. Escorting the suspect to holding cell for interrogation. Oh, no. Oh. Come with me, sir. But it'll it's only so take bad a for second. Him. Please, let me go! That was fun. Okay, now I didn't catch all that. What did he say? Well, now that that guy's busy. Hands off! I think the war room door is only openable in time of war. Stupid old piece! Uh, oh. Well, heck. Stand back, son! Hello, Mr. President. Oh, we need to hit him over the head. We'll be back, sir. I completely forgot. Let's check out this lamp first, though. The Liberty Bell is a light for this room, just as America is a light for... Yes! Metaphor is such an ugly quality in furniture. Sorry about this, Mr. President. Now it's time for some checks and balances, freelance police style. Max, will you do the honors? Gladly! Look it, fellas! My fingertips look like little tadpoles! They just don't make these guys like they used to. That's no guy, Max. It's a damned ugly puppet. Ah, the drawstring in his back should have been our first clue. Our first clue should have been the swirly eyes. But, silly me, I thought hypnotizee, not hypnotizer. What? Yes. That was the moment. An ingenious <laughs> device being used to hypnotize the TV-watching public. But who was controlling him? Gonna take days to get that smell out of the interrogation room. What? What have you done? He was like that when we got here. Sam did it! <laughs> so these two numbskulls managed to off the president. It was a deep tissue massage gone horribly wrong. Ninjas! Sam did it! Still, ratings from the last State of the Union address were even lower than reruns of Midtown Cowboys. I didn't expect to have to replace the president so soon. Now that these idiots have forced my hand, uh, we're standing right here. We can hear everything you're saying. It's time for a leader that people will have to listen to. Agents Jackson, Burr, and Gambe, we are moving the timeline forward. Commence phase two of the operation. I'll prepare the new candidate. I would have expected from a Secret Service agent discovering two people over the decapitated body of the president. What do you think this fake body is made of? Can I keep it? No time for that now, Max. We've got to stop the... Wait, what's that noise? We, we punched it off. and scuba diving Buddha on a banana boat with cocktail onions and a map to the stars' homes. Yeah! They've reanimated America's most beloved president. I always thought Taft was shorter. Not Taft, you deficient. My fellow Americans, I am Abraham Lincoln. As you know by now, your president was recently murdered by two mysterious interpreters. But turn it was an accident. To and despair. I have returned to guide us through this troubled time. A vote for me is a vote for Abraham Lincoln. I'll get it! What's that? Uh-huh. Lincoln Memorial. Right. Hydraulic motors and robotic implants. Yes. Okay. I see. We're on it. Wrong number? That was the commissioner, Max. If this new Mecca Lincoln wins the emergency election, the nefarious forces controlling him will have unchecked power to destroy the entire free world. I hate when they do that. 
That's why one of us is going to have to run against him. You got to answer the phone! Okay, fair's fair. Max, we're going to make you the next president of the United States. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, okay. I feel like that worked out kind of perfectly. This seems like a good, like, a good saving point. 